let's talk about the number one best food for your brain. Now, the brain is a very interesting organ. It's the fattiest organ of all of your organs in your body. It only makes up 2% of our body weight, but it consumes 20% of all of our fuel. And the size of your brain does not equal your intelligence. Another misconception of the brain is that the nerves cannot regenerate. What you're born with, you have, you can't change. But that's absolutely not true. Certain parts of your brain can completely regrow. And lastly, there are no pain receptors in your brain. This is why sometimes when they do brain surgery, that you're wide awake. Now, related to the best food for the brain, we should probably define exactly what we're trying to do with the brain. We're talking about the food that improves memory, concentration, focus, thinking, problem solving, learning, mood disorders, brain inflammation. So I did a deep dive into this topic, looking at all the key nutrients that the brain needs. And also, there are basically three foods that destroy the brain. In fact, when you go to the grocery store, you're going to find the majority of these three ingredients, okay? So let's start with number one, omega-6 fatty acids. Now, what is that? That is like soy oil, corn oil, canola oil, cottonseed oil. These are the fats or oils that create a lot of inflammation in your nervous system. The second ingredient is, you guessed it, sugar. And even if you look at diabetes, which is a a diet of consuming too much sugar, you have something called type 3 diabetes, which is Alzheimer's. So they now know that Alzheimer's is really a situation where the nerves are starved of glucose. Now, you might immediately think, well, I thought diabetes was high sugar, so that should be feeding the nerves all the sugar and fuel it needs, right? Well, unfortunately, when you start feeding too much sugar to the nervous system, you have this thing called insulin, which is kind of like the gatekeeper that controls the absorption of glucose. That starts going up and up and up. And then you develop this protective mechanism called insulin resistance. So more fuel, more insulin resistance, less connection of that fuel to the neuron. You literally end up starving the neurons of fuel. This is why there's such a high incidence of Alzheimer's or dementia with diabetes. And the third ingredient, which is kind of a large category, refined carbohydrates. This is those lovely breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, waffles, pancakes, muffins, things like that. Not only do these carbohydrates turn into sugar really quick, but they have gluten. And gluten destroys the gut for most people. And if you've ever heard of something called the brain-gut axis, whatever's going on down in the gut is going to be going on in the head. There's been a huge link between gluten problems in your gut and dementia. And of course, these refined carbohydrates just completely deplete you of the trace minerals that the brain also needs. And I'm talking about zinc, selenium, and iodine. And just as a side note, if an infant is deficient in iodine, their IQ becomes much lower, unfortunately, because the full brain development doesn't occur. So all three of these ingredients, omega-6 fatty acids, sugar, refined carbohydrates, all contribute and create insulin resistance. And again, insulin resistance starves the nerve cells of their fuel, creating death of the neuron. So now let's get to the number one food that would heal the brain and all of these problems. So I looked at a lot of different foods and analyzed them from different angles. And the best solution or the best food for the brain is wild caught salmon. Now there's other types of seafood that uh, you can use too, like um, sardines, but wild caught salmon is at the top of the list. The question is why? Because the brain is mostly fat. It's 60% fat and 20% of that fat is made up of something called DHA. That is the omega-3 fatty acid that, that builds the structure of a lot of your brain. So salmon is very rich in omega-3 fatty acids, not just DHA, but another one called EPA, which is involved in the next benefit, lowered inflammation. So salmon lowers your inflammation. Salmon provides the omega-3, the building blocks of your brain, the fat that it needs. And as a side note, cholesterol by itself is very important 
in uh, the membranes of your brain. And this is why drugs like statins, which uh, block the production of cholesterol, have massive side effects for cognitive function, mood disorders, neurological issues, hormone issues, things like that. A very important food would be wild-caught salmon because it's very, very fatty. It's rich in cholesterol. It's rich in omega-3, which helps inflammation, as well as insulin resistance. You can help correct insulin resistance by this omega-3 fatty acid. Remember, insulin resistance is at the core of a lot of brain problems. These omega-3s are really amazing because they can directly improve memory, learning, cognitive function like focus, as well as your mood. So if someone has depression or anxiety, one of the things that they use that's pretty successful and well-researched is by using fish oils um, high in omega-3 fatty acids. And because there's a lot of protein in salmon, you get all the building blocks for neurotransmitters for the brain. And on top of that, wild-caught salmon is keto-friendly. It's low-carb, good amount of protein, super healthy protein with other nutrients. And ketones bypass this insulin resistance damage in the nerve cell and feeds the neurons directly without having to involve any glucose. So the brain has this other fuel it can use more efficiently, which is ketones, which by the way, is great for seizures. In fact, the ketogenic diet okay, has been proven to improve seizures. And lastly, it's the pink pigment that is in salmon, if it's well caught, okay? Because if it's not well caught, it is farm raised and they have to use certain dyes to turn it from gray to pink. That pink pigment is a phytonutrient called astaxanthin. And this is a powerful antioxidant to help protect the neurons against the damage from omega-6 fatty acids, refined carbohydrates, and sugars. So there you have it. Salmon is absolutely the best food that you can eat for your brain. And also with that salmon, that doesn't really complete the meal. So you want some dark leafy green vegetable with it. Uh, the Probably the best one, if you want to look at the brain health, that would be kale. And because kale is loaded with folate, vitamin C, beta carotene, all these antioxidants. Now, if you had that as a salad and you put some nutritional yeast on it, okay, unfortified, you'll have all the B vitamins necessary for the brain too. The brain loves and needs B vitamins. Talking about B1, B5, B12, B2, B3, B6. Add a little olive oil to that, and you'll have a super health brain-supporting meal. Now, I created a, another very popular video on the brain. If you have not seen this, uh, check it out. I put it up right here.